What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fezzy Fitness. Starting this video with the Orlando Pro results. Now what a shocker it really was that Phil Klahar wins this show. And that was his first pro win. That too at the age of 49 and he qualifies for the Olympia 2023. Now before we get into the whole controversy of it, let's appreciate and congratulate Phil Klahar. What an unbelievable achievement it was. This man is the true definition of resilience. We saw his brilliance in 2021 in Tampa and Texas Pro. And then last year, he wasn't as impressive as before. But props to him for not giving up on his dreams. And he came back this year and showed his brilliance once again. And for the people who are wondering, is Phil still gonna do the Masters Olympia which is happening in August? Now that he is qualified for the Olympia, then the answer is yes, he is committed to it. And with the size that he brought to the stage, do not be surprised if he wins that as well. Still got a lot of more work to do. Still going to Romania. And we're going to come right back here in Orlando in the Olympia and do our thing. So thank every single person that has supported me. AJ, you know it, bro. Y'all got to tell them. You tell them long time, never do it. I'm going to do it. You see? Now let's get into the results. If we look at the scorecards, it was without a doubt the closest possible call the judges made this year. Because the scores were tied after the finals. I do not remember seeing something like this and unique before. Hassan was clearly in the lead after prejudging. But Phil Lahar moved ahead in the finals. And the reason that happened was because the way Hassan showed up at the finals. That was really really bad luck. And that is why Phil moved ahead in the finals. And because of that, the scores were tied. So I'm not really sure how they made this call of placing them. Whether it was based on the posing or the presentation. But it is what it is. It will be a hard pill to swallow for Hassan Mustafa. Because he was clearly the favorite going into the show. So just on the basis of the track record, Hassan Mustafa did two shows with AJ Sims. And he won both last year. This year he has done two shows with Chad Nichols. And he lost both. So it is kind of understandable that some of the fans are saying that Hassan should go back with AJ. And yes, I know the caliber of competition was better at Toronto Pro. But whether you like Ian Valier or not, he is a two times top seven finisher at the Olympia. And interestingly, Hassan was able to beat both Andrea Presti and Phil Lahar at Orlando Pro in 2022. And if we do a little comparison of how he showed up last year versus this year, you can clearly see that he was in much better condition last year. He had better hamstrings. He had better separation in his quads. But the thing is, the judges clearly liked what they saw from Hassan at the pre-judging. So the argument of him going back to AJ is coming out a bit too soon in my opinion. Now the version of Hassan that we saw at the finals. That was so much similar to 2021. His legs looked way too big and watery with little to no separation. And Phil looked really big at the prejudging. And he looked really comparable. Maybe that is the reason that Hassan and his team tried to come in fuller and bigger. And that really backfired. And another thing that I want to mention here is this. Hassan should definitely get a posing coach. Because the way he presents himself, that can be so much better. So will Hassan rest up or do Portugal Pro or Vancouver Pro in the upcoming weeks? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. So in third place, we had Stanimal. I'm gonna say his best look so far since he switched to open bodybuilding from Classic. Whether he will be able to qualify for the Olympia this year totally depends on how the top competition shows up. Although his conditioning looked really great, he is still under-muscled and undersized compared to the other top open bodybuilders. I saw some comments that Stan should switch back to Classic Physique. Yes, he did qualify for the Olympia in 2019 and yes, he did make top 10. But Chris Asito at that time, who was his coach, talked about how difficult it was for them to make the classic physique weight cut off. And yes, I can understand the argument that Stan looked so much better in classic physique. He looked a lot more aesthetic. But the thing is that the weight making process was getting so much more dangerous and unhealthy for them. So open bodybuilding is the only option for Stan. Do let me know what you guys think about the results here and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.